After closing over Christmas weekend, COVID-19 testing sites reopened Monday to lines that extended far into the street. Fox 6's Sam Kramer joins us live in Milwaukee, where the health department says it expected this demand to start this week. Yeah, hi there, Brett. And that's due to a pair of factors. First, the holidays and second because of how fast the Omicron variant has spread. There are tests available elsewhere within limited capacities, but tonight the health department says anyone coming here for a free test should expect to wait. With cars lined up bumper to bumper on and around the property. Between all the sites, we'll be around a couple thousand people for the day. This surge in demand comes as no surprise to Nick tomorrow in the Milwaukee Health Department. Their three testing sites were all packed with cars throughout the day Monday, including this one near 25th in St. Paul. An hour. We've been waiting one hour to get into um get our task. The line was a half mile long. We know lines are long. We're going to be as efficient as we can. Uh, you're going to need some patience when you come to the site and we're, we're trying to move through uh, as, as quickly as possible. The sites don't require insurance and provide the test for free, making them a popular option in Milwaukee for months. Some people in the family don't have insurance card. You kind of all want to go at the same time as you can to make sure you all get in. So we come down here because we don't have to have that problem down here. These sites aren't the only ones meeting the fast rising demand for COVID-19 testing. Advocate Aurora Health tells Fox 6 it's processing more than 40,000 tests a week and preparing for 50,000 across their immediate and urgent care centers. But with high demand comes limited availability for appointments and even at home tests as this community braces for another surge. It's been kind of crazy all around the world. Milwaukee's no exception. So if you need a COVID-19 test and want to take it for free, the Milwaukee Health Department encourages you to pre-register online before going to any of their three public testing sites. You can also try setting up an appointment through your primary care provider, where, of course, insurance coverage and thus the cost of that test may vary. We're live tonight in Milwaukee. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. Good advice there. Thank you, Sam.